Okay, so sa video na to, magpo-prove tayo ng two triangles which are congruent gamit ang triangle congruence postulate. So, meron tayong illustration na nandito. Meron tayong mga given at ipo-prove natin na yung triangle KJM ay congruent sa triangle KLM. So, we start with our given. Gamit tayo ng two-column proof. So, the first statement will be segment JK congruent to segment LK. Okay, so ang reason natin dito is given. Now, we can use the illustration, magpuput markings tayo para makita natin yung flow ng ating proving. So, JK, eto siya. JK is congruent to segment LK. Yan. Then, for the second statement, we can use the second given, which is segment JM is congruent to segment LM. And we will be writing given as the reason. Now, lalagin ulit natin ng markings. Si JM, segment JM, is congruent to segment LM. So, from this, we can now see yung ating susunod na statement. So, ang ating pangatlong statement, eto. Which is, segment KM is congruent to segment KM. At ang reason natin para dito is yung reflexive property of congruence. Ayan, so reflexive property of congruence. Now, we can now say, ayan, dahil meron na tayong mga corresponding sides, we can now say that triangle K JM is congruent to triangle KLM by the reason of SSS postulate. Okay, second set ng example natin sa pagpo-prove ng two triangles that are congruent using the triangle congruence postulate. So we have here the following given. Angle G is congruent to angle I. Segment FH bisects angle GFI. And we need to prove that triangle GFH is congruent to triangle IFH. So, ito po yung ating illustration. So, ang ating first statement dito, of course, we will be starting on the given. Which is angle G congruent to angle I. So, pwede natin mag-put ng markings on our illustration or on our figure. So, si angle G daw, this one, angle G is congruent to angle I. Ayan. Now, for the reason of this is we need to write given. For the second statement, we can now use the second given, which is segment FH bisect K angle GFI. Ayan. So, ipakita natin this one. Segment FH bisects angle GFI. So, the reason for this is given. Para dun sa pangatlong statement, ibibase natin yung third statement dun sa second statement, which is segment FH bisects angle GFI. So, kung makikita ninyo dito, since na binisect niya yung angle na to, other words, there are two angles form. So, ito siya. So, we have this angle G, F, H, and then angle I, F, H. So, pwede natin siyang isulat as angle G, F, I is congruent to triangle, I mean to angle I, F, H. So, ito siya. Angle G, F, A, uh, A, uh, G, F, H. So, ito pala H. Purayin natin. H. Ayan. So, H. Ito, G, F, H. Tapos, yung isa ay I, F, H. So, I, F, H. Ngayon, ang reason natin dito is yung definition ng angle by sector. So, angle by sector. 
Ayan. Now, for the fourth statement. Okay, so from here, meron na tayong flow, may sequence na kung anong isusunod nating pang-apat na statement. We can use this one. So, ibig sabihin, si segment FH, okay, segment FH is congruent to segment FH by the reason of reflexive property of congruence. So, reflexive property of congruence. Ayan. So, meron na tayong nakikitang uh, proof. We can now say on our fifth statement that triangle G F H is congruent to triangle I F H by what postulate? So, makikita mo dito sa ating drawing, we have here angle, angle, and then a side. So, this is A A S theorem. Ayan. So, base din naman dito sa flow ng statement natin at saka reason, meron tayong angle, that is the first given, then another angle on the third statement, and for the fourth statement, that is the side. So, in-apply natin ang AAS. Since yung FH, segment FH, or side FH, is a non-included side of this triangle. 